Hi guys, it's Ruthie and happy Valentine's Day to you all. I hope you're having an amazing day full of love, whatever you are doing. And today I decided to do a Disney coloring page. And if you can't already tell, I decided to go with Lady and the Tramp because it is Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> so I really loved doing this coloring page. It was so, so much fun because I had recently found out about the color mixing brush. It is so awesome. I used it on the ears, which I actually did um, off camera because I was doing this kind of like later in the evening. I didn't really think about recording it. Yeah, kind of a mistake on my part, but um, <laughs> uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, so I was working on the chest area and I was kind of trying to figure out where like my light source was coming from now I did know it was coming from the candle so that was like so helpful because whenever I do some digital art like my Sleeping Beauty calling page I had to kind of figure out where I had to like make up where the light was coming from which is kind of difficult um because I wasn't really just doing a bunch of shadows and everything in that but yeah hopefully I figured it out in this one and definitely added a little bit more shadows and highlights so where the light is coming she has a lot lighter um like coloring on her ears or on her face. I added some shadows up under her nose and like up under her eyes a little bit and up under her chin. So yeah, I really liked how it turned out and I did um, some shadows on her, ooh, hang on, left ear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here I was working on Tramp and it actually took me a second to work on these ears. I wasn't sure how bright I wanted this highlight, if I wanted it kind of lighter or darker. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, so, oh, yes, I wanted to tell you, announce to you guys the names for Kevin and Kiki's parents, so I wanted to thank you guys for voting for that, uh, that means so much to me, like, you want to, um, help me out here, um, <laughs> so I chose, like, I picked four names for you guys, one for each of the parents, and... So the dad's name uh, is Calvin and the mom's is Kim. So yeah, I really liked how those names came out. I really uh, think they fit the characters themselves and I think you guys did amazing picking them out. Uh, I wanted to apologize for not having a video out on Monday. We had a bit of a crazy kind of week last week. Um, my parents were out of town so we had to stay with my grandparents. So I had a couple scheduled videos for you guys. But we actually came back on Sunday, so it was a little bit difficult to film a video that Sunday and then upload it the next and edit all of that. So I didn't really think about doing that ahead of time. I probably could have, but I didn't think about it. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, but I am back now and hopefully we can get back into the groove of things. <laughs> So here I was working, <clears throat> excuse me, working on the shadow of the plate and the spaghetti was like a lot of fun to color. Uh, I don't know if I just did it exactly right. I think I would have blended them a little bit better. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Uh, but I didn't realize my uh, app bar, I guess if that's like the technical term or like, to, I don't know what you would call that. I don't know, but I didn't realize it was up, and so I did actually turn it down for you guys, um, because I like to keep it hidden so you can see the full screen and everything, but for some reason, it was up. Uh, <laughs> so then I decided, or not decided, but worked on the breadsticks, and they actually kind of look like hot dogs, I think, just because it is in, like, the shadow, that's just the way it looks. Um, so yeah, this table was actually kind of difficult to color with all the shadows and everything. And you can see that the, yeah, whenever the coloring page, it kind of cut off, um, at the corner there. I did actually draw, like, freehand the other corner. And I don't think it turned out too bad. I was actually pretty pleased with it. Um, so yeah, I did... I'm now looking back at this, like the table is like super vibrant white. I think I might have like toned it down just a little bit of a gray, um, and which that did help whenever I changed the hue and saturation, but it still looks kind of, of a bright white. Uh, here I was working on the background and trying to 
see if I wanted to like draw in some of the background things but I decided not to and just went ahead and did a gradient with like a black and dark blue and I also wanted to mention I uh, mentioned uh, I also wanted to mention I made a color palette of this uh, coloring page for you guys if you wanted to try and do this drawing with me or just kind of uh, try it out for yourself I made some swatches for you and then there's a link into the description box below where you can download them and put them in Photoshop uh, for you guys to use. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. Thank you uh, for hanging around and drawing with me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, it's Ruthie, and happy Valentine's Day to you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day full of love, whatever you're doing. Uh, so today, since it is Valentine's Day, of course, um, I decided to do a love-themed uh, digital art, but this time I did do it. I cannot talk anymore. Nope. I lost your ability to talk. <laughs>